I'm proud uh, to be a Vietnam veteran because I serve the, my country and there's no better country in the world than the United States of America. We have to show our, our soldiers and our warriors that we appreciate what they did because without them, we wouldn't have the society and the opportunities that we now have to be a great country and provide for our families. All right, we are celebrating the service of those who served in the military. We'd also like to get them some jobs when they get out of the military. That's the theme today, jobs and employment for uh, returning veterans. And with that in mind, we are joined by Nancy Hogan. She is the Director of Strategic Outreach and Legislative Affairs Captain at the Department Hogan of Labor. Captain Hogan to you. Captain Hogan, excuse me. And yes. a West Point graduate. And a native New Yorker. Well. Oh, <laughs> even better. Where did you grow up? Uh, Hicksville. And this is probably the only place I can say that with being laughed at or people thinking I'm kidding. <laughs> Department of Labor has made it a real priority to get these veterans jobs. Yes? Yes. I mean, that's what we do at the Veterans Employment and Training Service every single day. Tell me about these one-stop shops. One-stop career centers, there's 3,000 of them across the country. And it's where veterans can go, it's where anyone can go, but veterans have priority of service there. And there's about 2,000 um, employment representatives for veterans there. There's either the dis uh, Disabled Veterans Outreach Program Specialists, and there's also local veteran employment representatives, we call them leavers, that work within the communities to go out and find employers that want to hire veterans, and then they match them up. They get career services there, they um, have accessible, uh, access to job postings, but it's really within the local communities, and they're all across the country. So How really many people have you been able to help? Oh, we help hundreds of thousands a year. Uh, in Missouri alone last year, we had, a, I think, a 56 entered employment rate. Uh, it was over 9,000 in the last four rolling quarters. Um, but the great thing about the one stops is that um, veterans can go there and get priority service, get these, um, these, these abilities to get, I'm sorry. The, uh, <laughs> First time on camera. That's um, okay. right. Captain, you're doing great. Hey, listen, Thanks. you, you but we served, did, uh, you know? I know. <laughs> but we did uh, just put things online. So there's My Next Move for Veterans that now you can go online to mynextmove.org slash vets. And you can put in your service uh, specialty, your MOS, and find out what jobs in the civilian sector are available and where they're located, how much they pay, and what kind of training you might need. Nancy, you're in this business. Why is it that veterans, uh, their unemployment rate is higher than their civilian counterparts? What do you think the root causes are? I think there's a lot of um, misunderstandings on some level. Uh, sometimes it's just an education thing, whether it be on the veterans uh, themselves and how to sell themselves to the hiring managers, mm -hmm. or the hiring managers to understand what skills they're bringing to the table. Is there a prejudice that they're facing, do you think? I've heard that there is. I mean, a lot of people coming out of the service now, um, you know, have wounds of all different kinds. And employers may be a little hesitant on how to address those in the workplace. There's also America's Heroes at Work, which is a toolkit for employers about how to, how to um, accommodate veterans and uh, returning service members for just that reason. Nancy Hogan, we're really grateful for your efforts and all, all you do from the Department of Labor. Thank you very much. Thank it's you. nice to see you, a native New Yorker here at Hicksville. the table. Hicksville. <laughs> hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're going to go back to our special correspondent, Elise, who has a special guest. Hello, Elise. Hello, Greg. Thank you. I'm here with Lieutenant General Richard Newton, the Assistant Chief of Staff of the Air Force. Can you tell us a little bit about your service and what is so important to you today on this Veterans Day? I know earlier you said it was just being here, so can you talk a little bit about that? Well, at least first off, it is really an honor for uh, what to be here as part of this uh, Veterans Day celebration. Uh, I want to first thank Mayor Bloomberg and the City of New York for putting on a great welcome uh, and a celebration for our veterans. You know, we have more than 22 million veterans in the United States and nearly four million of those veterans are United States Air Force and so representing our Secretary of the Air Force Michael B. Donnelly and our Chief of Staff of the Air Force General Norty Schwartz it's just truly an honor and a privilege to be here and what a great memory I'm making a wonderful memory for myself right now being part of this uh, 2011 Veterans Day celebration. 
Would you say this will be your favorite memory serving <laughs> or one of them? Candidly, this is probably the most significant one because of the fact that to be able to celebrate this on the streets of New York City uh, with thousands and thousands of not only the, the, the citizens of New York City, but the fellow veterans here, the family members. Um, I will tell you, though, I've got one other fond memory is when my dad came home from Vietnam and uh, the following year we we celebrated Veterans Day in another Veterans Day uh, uh, parade area, and that was very special. That was back in 1968, uh, so I'm actually coming full circle. Well, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to have you with us today, so thank you so much. Thank you very much, and again, just, it's just awesome. Now, as we've been talking, our veterans need jobs. We need to hire our vets, do everything we can to support our troops as they have done for us. It's time when they're returning home to give them that opportunity to find a job, to solidify their life here, and to make it just everything they fought for and have everything that we have and everything that they've been fighting for for us. So we thank them, and our message to you is jobs for our veterans. Veteran unemployment is a significant issue for our country. Uh, it's not easy to go from serving in the military to working in the private sector. We've committed together with other companies to hire 100,000 veterans by the year 2020, which we think will make a meaningful impact. And hiring veterans is not just the right thing for us to do, it's a great opportunity to find great leaders who can help us drive our business forward. My name is Antoinette M. Proctor, I'm from Brooklyn. I served in the United States Marine Corps and I currently work at Chase. In the military, I learned leadership, teamwork, and discipline, which enabled me to be successful at Chase. It makes you proud to be a part of a, such a big company who can actually take the time out to reach out and support vets.